India produces the largest number of medical graduates all over the world. And this year itself, NMC has approved 10,000 new MBBS seats. And it has also approved opening of 112 new medical colleges. And in West Bengal alone, the number is 8. So this is good, right? Not really. So hello, I am Dr. Mayu Khajra. I am a practicing dermatologist. And if you want to see the other side of the coin, then stay tuned till the very end. 10,000 new seats have been increased. So the competition would reduce, right? No, not at all. It's, it's an absolutely wrong statement. See, I gave NEET UG in 2017 when it was the first All India NEET. So in that time, 11 lakh of us fought for 30,000 government medical college seats. So the success rate was 2.71%. But in this year, that is 2024, the number of medical seats in government college is only 55,000 and the number of students appearing is 26 lakhs, making the success rate merely 2.1%. So you can see the reduction in the success rate. So competition reduced, nahi hua hai. competition bada hai. The quality of MBBS students is reducing. NMC has reduced the criteria for opening a new medical college. So private medical colleges are popping out like mushrooms here and there. So koi bhi jaga mein naya naya private medical colleges khul ja hai, but the infrastructure and the faculties are not up to the mark or up to the number that is required to provide a quality education. बहुत सारे प्राइवेट मेडिकल कॉलेजेस में तो ऐसा है कि वहां पे फैकल्टीज का नाम है बट फैकल्टीज जाते नहीं है ऐसा एक वो प्राइवेट डेंटल कॉलेज था गौड़ी देवी डेंटल कॉलेज जिन लोगों का नाम का तो कॉलेज था बट क्लासेस हम लोगों के यहां पे ही होता था एमसीके में सो यू कैन इमेजिन द सिचुएशन व्हाट्स गोइंग टू हैपन दो एनएमसी हैज स्टार्टेड द बायोमेट्री जो कि एक वो बहुत ही बेनिफिशियल स्टेप है मैं सोचता हूं बिकॉज़ कौन-कौन आ रहा है कौन-कौन नहीं आ रहा है वो वाला जानने में हेल्प करता है और एक बात है कि the central and the peripheral divide, the divide between the central medical colleges and the peripheral medical colleges. So the central medical colleges are located in the cities and they are well equipped with infrastructure and the faculties number are double that of the peripheral medical colleges where the infrastructure is also not up to the mark. जैसे Purulia government medical colleges में मैंने पता लगाया था, which is a peripheral medical college that there are three faculties in ENT. Whereas in MCK, there are seven to eight faculties in ENT department. Uske baad kya ho hai ki naya medical colleges khul hai. The faculties are being channelized from central to the peripheral medical colleges. Isse kya ho hai ki faculties ko yahan se wahan tak travel karna pad hai. So they are staying for three to four days and they are returning to Kolkata to practice here. And their home is also there. They are not doing a new recruitment based on the distance. So ये बहुत ही प्रॉब्लम हो रहा है दूसरा दिन मतलब स्टूडेंट्स का क्वालिटी ऑफ एजुकेशन हैम्पर्ड हो रहा है और लाइफ ऑफ द प्रोफेसर्स आल्सो इट इज बीइंग हैम्पर्ड एज न्यू रिक्रूटमेंट इज नॉट हैपनिंग एंड फैकल्टीज आर चैनलाइज्ड फ्रॉम सेंट्रल मेडिकल कॉलेजेस टू द पेरिफेरल मेडिकल कॉलेजेस द कंपटीशन अमंग एमबीबीएस डॉक्टर्स इज इंक्रीजिंग एंड इट्स नॉट फार अवे दैट एमबीबीएस इज गोइंग टू बिकम the new BTEC. In West Bengal alone, about 5,000 MBBS graduates are unemployed. Think about that. 5,000 in West Bengal alone. And you all have seen that the viral tweet where 500 MBBS graduates came for only 20 posts. So now only this situation is happening. The metro cities, uh, central locations are being oversaturated with MBBS doctors even the super specialist also but the people of the peripheries are still being treated by the quarks so this is causing a great imbalance the central peripheral imbalance so abhi problems ka to bahut sara baat kar liya let's talk about the solutions as i have mentioned the problems so it's my duty to tell you the solutions also number 1 make the phc strong that is making the primary healthcare sector of our country strong. 
सी वन सीनियर वंस टोल्ड मी दैट अ गुड हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम इज नॉट जस्ट बाय द नंबर ऑफ हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट इट्स डज बट अ गुड हेल्थ केयर सिस्टम इज वन दैट ट्रीट्स द हाइपरटेंशन पेशेंट्स एफिशिएंटली सो दैट दे डोंट गो इनटू हार्ट फेलियर एंड दे रिक्वायर अ हार्ट ट्रांसप्लांट सो तुमको समझ में आ रहा है ना कि टर्शियरी कॉलेजेस से ज्यादा इंपॉर्टेंट है द प्राइमरी हेल्थ सेक्टर इससे क्या दो गो एडवांटेजेस होगा एक तो जो सेंट्रल कॉलेजेस में बहुत भीड़ हो जाता है बहुत ओवरलोड हो जाता है वो वाला कम होगा और एक को जो बात है एज यू नो दैट मेनी ऑफ द पेशेंट आर डेली विज वर्कर्स तो उन लोगों को बहुत दूर से ट्रेवल करना पड़ता है लाइक इन मेडिकल कॉलेज कोलकाता पीपल कम फ्रॉम बांग्लादेश पीपल कम फ्रॉम झारखंड बिहार एंड मुर्शिदाबाद मियरली टू शो इन द ओपीडीज सो इससे उन लोगों का डेली का रोजी रोटी उन लोगों का हेम्पर हो रहा है तो ये दोनों एडवांटेजेस मिलेगा अगर हम लोगों का प्राइमरी हेल्थ केयर सेक्टर स्ट्रांग रहा तो फिर नाउ नंबर टू इज मोबिलाइजिंग डॉक्टर्स फ्रॉम सेंटर टू पेरीफेरिस सेंटर से पेरीफेरिस में डॉक्टर्स अगर हम लोग मोबिलाइज कर पाए तो फिर क्या होगा कि ये जो अनएम्प्लॉयमेंट का प्रॉब्लम दिख रहा है सेंटर में तो वो वाला रिड्यूस होगा एंड टू एश्योर दिस बिकॉज अ डॉक्टर डज अ लॉट स्ट्रगल्स अ लॉट टू गेट दिस डिग्री एंड आफ्टर दैट ही वॉन्ट्स अ पीस ऑफ माइंड एंड ही वॉन्ट्स टू स्टे इन अ सेंट्रल लोकेशन वेयर ही कूड गेट द एवरी फैसिलिटीज फॉर अ फैमिली सेटलमेंट सो अगर आप उन लोगों को पेरीफेरिस में ले जाना चाहते हैं तो फिर पेरीफेरिस में भी आपको कुछ फैसिलिटीज प्रोवाइड करना पड़ेगा लाइक गुड क्वार्टर्स गुड इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर एंड ऑल and some incentive so that people come to the peripheries doctors come to the peripheries and the peripheral people also get equal treatment number 3 point is recruiting more and more doctors as i have said that the faculties are channeled from the central colleges to the peripheral colleges recruit more number of doctors then the quality of medical education will also improve and doctors will also get more and more employed this would solve the two motives on Fourth point, I think that NMC should increase the requirement for opening a new medical colleges. So, फिर ये मशरूम जैसे नया नया private medical colleges नहीं खुल जाएगा. थोड़ा सा standard maintain करना चाहिए ताकि जो quality of medical graduates that a college is producing that is good enough, that is good enough that they can handle the lives of the patients. Number five and the most important point that India requires is career counselling. and giving alternate career options in science only if you see 90% of the students either choose engineering or medical there is nothing in between there is nothing beside so ye ko bahut hi bada problem hai parental pressure ko bhi reduce karna padega aur hum logo ko thoda sa thoughts ko diversify karna chahiye because there are many more career options isse kya ho raha hai ki many students are going to the foreign and they are studying as fmgs for mbbs many are putting the financial burden by getting admission into the private medical colleges so this is creating a lot lot more trouble and you can see the rising number of suicide rates in kota okay so ye bahut sara problems kar raha hai and i think maine video mein thoda sa diversify kar ke bahut sare topics ke upar cover kar diya but i guess tum logo ko video acha laga hai so if you like the video do hit the like button and do share it with your friends to spread the awareness the mbbs stream that was thought to be the most sorted profession is not sorted anymore okay so goodbye take care bye bye